Hey guys, we're back again with another how-to video with Omid from Mobility Engineering, your solutions guy. Now today you'll see I have the lovely and wonderful uh, Braunability Tony Evo um, next to me. Um, not because we are great companions, but because I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks with this solution. So today what we're going to go through is the emergency um, crank tools uh, mechanism or the emergency release, right? So just going to go through a couple of different scenarios where if you're stuck with the tourney outside and there's no power or no, you know, uh, movements or errors with the, the control unit, I'm going to show you how to get through that. So the first method we're going to go through is there's completely no power to the vehicle, your tourney is all the way out and about and there's no one sitting on the seat, okay? Now, with your Tourney Evo, you would have got when you got it installed for you, is a emergency operation kit. So part of your kit, crank tool kit, you have two mechanisms, right? And then on the back here, it actually has a step-by-step -step instructions that shows you how to operate the unit, right? And little tips that, okay, in this scenario, don't do it because you may damage the unit. Now, we'll get stuck into it. So as I said, we're going to demo with no one sitting in, right? So that means there's no weight being pressured down here. Now, if you come to the back here, cameraman, you'll see there's like a goldish yellow tap, right? This one there. So what I'll do, I'll lift this up, okay? Now that I've lifted this out, I will come around here and I will lift up the unit from the base. Now that did take a little bit of effort and that's why I say with no one sitting in it. Because then if you have someone sitting on that, that may be a little bit difficult. Now you leave that out because you can no longer put that back in. Now the next step is actually putting in the crank tool in a certain location. So we'll show you that in a moment. So as part of the crank tool, you get this little golden jewel, right? And you'll see that there's actually two different sides, okay? One that's rounded and one that's got hexagonal. Right. So in this next step, we're going to put the rounded part through this hole. Alrighty. At the base of the unit at the back, you'll see a, a round hole at the, in the plastic trim. So you put this tool in like that. Now, before you do anything, at the front, you'll see over here a golden tab. Right. You lift this tab, okay, and then you pull it all the way out so that you see that this gear moves, right? the gear moves. Once that's moved, you put your crank tool in, okay? Now you want to crank it anti-clockwise or what we call counterclockwise, right? So Now this may take some time as there is quite a bit of revolutions for this gear to go. So Q the happy speed music. So we just showed you how to crank the unit with no one sitting in the tourney, right? And assuming that there's no power to the unit at all, right? Nothing. Now we're going to assume the same scenario in respect of no power to the vehicle, right? You've got no, no juice, um, but then there's actually going to be someone sitting in the seat, right? So that means there's going to be a lot of weight on the seat and you're going to not be, a be able to lift up that seat anymore. So there's another trick or, you know, tool you can use to do that. So we're back here with our trusty tools, right? And you see at the back of the unit, the, the top plastic part, there's a two holes. One of the holes here will actually have a place where you can slot this gold to. Now, before we showed you the round part, now the hexagonal part is where we're gonna use now. So you simply just place it in the hole like that, and it's locked in. Then you wanna crank it clockwise, okay? It's gonna be a little bit firm, so just you be sure to put some effort into it, right? And you'll see the unit is slowly lifting up, okay? So again, you use this method if someone's sitting on the seat and you've lost power to the unit. Just 
This may take a little time. Cue the happy music. Boy, that was a workout. Now, once you've got the turning all the way up to this position so that it's um, all the way retracted back, you take your little tool out, okay? And then you proceed to step two of the other method we discussed is where you put the round um, part of the tool at the base and back of the unit. So if you come down here, put this in there. Now, do any of you remember which way we had to do it? That's right, counterclockwise. So make sure that your tool is cranked in that. But wait, did you say we forgot to release the tab at the front? Yes, you did. So if you go to the front there, make sure you pull this golden tab all the way out so that you see this teeth move right all the way out. And then you start cranking. What was that cameraman? Cue the happy fast music. And now the unit's back inside, thanks. So we've already showed you now two methods, right? The first one was no power to the unit at all. Screen is completely blank and you lift up the seat where there's no one sitting in it. The second scenario, same thing, no power, blank screen, but then there's someone sitting in it so you've got to use a crank uh, tool a couple of times. Now we're gonna show you the, I guess, Preferred option, because it's less taxing on the body for you having to crank that tool, um, is when you do have power to the system, okay, the unit is out, but then there's some sort of a fault code or error that's showing up on the system. More commonly, it's uh, error code 23, right, which is uh, position lost, which is not a worry. Uh, you can easily find that position for you. So cameraman, if you come closely here to the screen, at this step, you'll need some sort of a pointy-edged uh, device such as a pen, right? You simply press and hold the center button. It will come up with a screen that says enter code, okay? The code is one, 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 two. So that's triple one, two. And then it brings you to this uh, screen which gives you the emergency mode. The top two buttons is what allows you to change between the different uh, settings, right? And each setting uh, is for a different movement, right? So one setting is up and down, one setting is forward and back, and one setting is rotation, okay? Now once you have the seat in what we call the home position, right? And home position is with the seat inside the vehicle, so the seat is facing forward, that's when it will allow you to exit, okay? Now cameraman, do you have a good view on that? Yes. So now what we want to do is we want to raise it up. So now these two buttons left and right is what then allows you to move it. So if I press this, it raises it up for me. So can you see that cameraman? Alrighty, so now that we're up, we want to rotate this seat into the car. So we go to the next step, which is in rotation. Now you're going to have to play around with the different settings because if there's someone sitting in that seat, you've got to be mindful for the legs, all right? So then you've got to then bring the seat back, rotate, bring the seat back, Rotate, bring the seat back. And you'll just be playing around with those two settings um, until you get the seat in.
And now that you have the seat back in, the remote will tell you home position. You just simply press the button and then it goes back to normal, all right? Now you got your seat in the car, what do you do? You go home, you make an appointment with your local uh, installer um, or mobility engineering representative, and then you're able to sort of reassess and redetermine what the potential faults could or may have been, all right? So remember, when your system does have a fault, before you do anything, first give us a call, right? We'll give your local uh, installer a call, and then that way they can try and talk you over the phone. However, you will have an emergency crank tool in your vehicle that should be clapped in the glove box at all times, plus a user manual that comes with the kit. And the user manual gives you all these different fault codes and things and, and so on, so what steps you need to do if that fault code comes about, all righty? But then again, if you have any issues, give us a call. Mobility Engineering, we're always here to help. And that's another how-to video by me, Ovid. Thanks.